is a equation practice video and this one is for the equation of constant acceleration so just to remind you the equation is v squared equals u squared plus 2as so v is the final velocity v is final velocity measured in meters per second u is the initial or starting velocity also measured in meters per second a is acceleration and acceleration is measured in meters per second squared and s technically is displacement which is the you know the so say you started somewhere on a journey so you at this point and you went all the way around there to there the displacement is a straight line from where you started to where you finish so displacement would actually be that but most of the time at gcc it's basically distance okay and obviously it's measured in meters so for that quick recap's okay if you're really not sure i have got a video on this that teaches it in full we have some extra practice questions you might want to check that one out it's in the forces section but if not if you want to pause and have a go at those questions and then i'll take you through the answers and then after we've done these three there's there's two more examples that we can do afterwards all right so let's start so a cyclist travels 20 meters whilst accelerating at 2.2 meters per second squared and ends up with a velocity, final velocity of 60 meters per second. What is the initial velocity of the motorbike? I don't know why I've called it a motorbike. Cycle bike. Never mind. So V squared equals U squared plus 2S. And we want initial velocity, so we need to make u the subject. So we need to get rid of an add 2as. So the opposite of adding 2as is simply subtracting 2as. So we can do v squared, subtract 2as, and that will give us u squared. And when we've got u squared, we can just do the square root to give the initial velocity. So v squared, so final, final velocity squared, so 16 squared minus, you've got 2 times the acceleration of 2.2 times the displacement or distance of 20 meters you can bracket that if you wish so if you want to pop that into your calculator that'll be u squared and then what you'll need to do is square root that answer so that'll give you 168 and then square root of 168 is 12.96 or 13 meters per second hopefully that one went okay now right, let's look at the next one so we've got a motorbike, let's check it is a motorbike this time, I believe so. So it travels 209 metres whilst accelerating at 8.27 metres per second squared. It's definitely not a cyclist. Um, and ends up with a, a final velocity of 60.9 metres per second. So again, what is the initial velocity? So same technique as last time, so it's V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. And we're going to need V squared minus 2AS to give us the initial speed squared. Then it's just a matter of putting the numbers in. So, final speed squared is 60.9, so 60.9 squared, minus two times the acceleration, so two times 8.27, times the displacement of 209. Close bracket. And then we remember, once you've got that value, we need to square root it to get the final answer. So that gives us 251.95, and then what we need to do is to square root that, which gives us 15.87, or you know, we could just say 16 meters per second. So hopefully that went all right as well. Right, third one. So this time we need final velocity. So that's, that's good with me, because we don't have to rearrange. So v squared equals u squared plus 2as, and then it's just a simple matter of putting the numbers in. So we've got initial speed of 15.4, and we've got an acceleration of 3.09, and we've got a distance traveled of 171 meters. So let's just pop these numbers in. So the initial speed squared is 15.4, so we need to square that. And we've got plus two times acceleration, two times 3.09, times the displacement, 171 meters so if you want to pop that in your calculator and then remember you've got to square root the answer so that will give us 1293.94 and then you've got to square root that 
which gives us 35.97 or 36, 36 meters per second. Okay, let's do two more examples. So it could be challenging, depending, depending if you've seen anything like this before, but I want you to pause and have a go. And then I'll take you through the answers in a few seconds. Okay, so the first one, a, a man goes diving off a cliff. The cliff is 50 meters high. Rather him than me. Calculate the velocity that the man hits the water. So you might be looking at that thinking, what? So here we go. So v squared equals u squared plus 2s. So there's a couple of things here. So the initial speed, well, the initial speed vertically, just as you're diving off the cliff, would be would be zero. So the u squared would actually be gone. And then we've just got 2as. So, so what is the acceleration? Well, you know, any object that's falling, including a person jumping off a cliff, the acceleration would be the same, would be, well, due to gravity. So the acceleration would be 9.8 meters per second squared. This is something that we must know, that we need to remember, the acceleration due to gravity. So, basically what we've got left now is V squared equals 2AS. So, V squared equals 2 times acceleration times the, the distance or the displacement. So, 2 multiplied by acceleration, which is 9.8, multiplied by the displacement, that's 50 meters high. That gives us V squared, and then obviously we just need to square it that answer to give us the final velocity. So if you put that in your calculator, you should get 980. And then we just need to square with the answer, which gives us 31.3 or 31 meters per second. So uh, I'm no expert in cliff diving, but I'd advise against that. Da, 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 da. There we go. Right, next one. So if you weren't sure at all on these, now you've got kind of got the gist of it. You might want to pause and have a go at question five. Slightly different, but same principle. So let's have a look. So a woman dives off a cliff, and she hits the water at 23 metres per second. We're going to calculate the height. So it's the same equation. So it's v squared equals u squared plus 2s. And we've got final velocity. We, the initial speed would obviously be zero, so, so that can go. So we're just left with v squared is 2as. We know the acceleration is due to gravity. The acceleration would simply be 9.8. Then we just need to rearrange to find s. So we need to make s the subject. So we've got v squared equals 2as. We need s on its own. We need to get rid of a times 2a. So to get rid of a times 2a, we do the opposite. And we simply divide by 2a on the other side. That'll give us the height of the cliff. So v squared, so we need to do 23 squared. Divided by 2 times 9.8. 2 times 9.8. If you put that in your calculator, it will give you the height. Which would be... To two significant figures, 27 metres. So she's obviously got more sense. And has jumped from a lower cliff. Personally, I still think that's too high. Anyway, I hope that went alright. And you, maybe you've learnt something. Or you've just reiterated the fact that you can do all these questions anyway. If you really struggled with that, but you found the explanations helpful, I'd suggest that you rewind the video and attempt the questions again. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.